Steven. How was it? Did father behave himself? Yeah. I mean, better than I would have expected, I guess. Is that the sword from grandfather's study? Oh, yeah. Her name's Ingrid. <laughs> Hi, Ingrid. Wow. All father must really trust you. Well, glad you survived your first day. Hey, me too. Tomorrow, we talk about Valkyries. Definitely. I'm sure. I'm not angry. I'm concerned. You know that's not what I want for her. You don't want her to have a sword. But it's not about having a sword. It's about what you use it for. I think you know what I mean. Yeah, I do. And I don't want that for her either, okay? You don't have to worry. <laughs> Well, this has been a weird day. Exactly. Good morning, brother. No news, I'm afraid. I have a plan. Do you now? The Nords. You found them once. Could you do so again? I could try, but I don't see how that they would help. They are the fates of these lands, are they not? I would know what they know. You may not find them cooperative. As long as I find them, where do we search? Midgard. But if Atreus is in Asgard, there's no getting him back without an army. We should be raising one. Yes, nothing like a catastrophic war to improve the situation. The boy seems quite capable, perhaps if you simply give him some time. You are not free of blame here. You encouraged his foolishness. It's confusion. I do not seek war. But if Odin has stolen my son, do not doubt the lengths I will go to. Your nature has always been clear, Kratos. But you, Freya, 
war as a first resort. That's not the Freya I knew. I hope the Norns can give you the counsel you need. Perhaps mine is no longer of use here. Tear, stop. This is no time to divide ourselves further. Come, sit, please. You have been quiet. Frankly, I'm surprised you of all people would seek out fate. But your instincts haven't let us down so far. Let's find the norms. Who am I to offer my counsel? I only hoped to help the boy find his answers. <laughs> 